All right, hello everyone. Tonight we're gonna to be do, doing some soldering and I've had this problem and I mentioned this in a video a while back that I had a soldering iron that was just too small. And so I've had this problem for a long time. I finally decided to solve it. So I got this gigantic soldering iron, about $60 off Amazon, made in Korea, I believe. And what it is, is it's just super hot, large surface area soldering iron. Because sometimes you just you don't have any precision jobs. You got this huge job. You needed to get it done. And I will say the key to using this soldering iron is to give it some time. You know, it'll it'll melt the plastic. We're about to see some plastic melt there, but give it some time to heat up. If as long as you're patient, it will heat up a large surface area. And so what I'm doing is I I'm installing some uh, uh, car radio. And the wires are too short, so I have to add an extension. That long wire you see up there in the, on the top left, that's an extension. I cut it in the middle, and I add about six feet. Then I can run it from the front of my car all the way to my car battery. And we are installing some terminals, and there's the middle of the extension right there. And there's some shrink wrapping. Now, this isn't the most beautiful job you've ever seen. Actually, the black part right there, I had the clamp on it. It actually melted that soldering iron melted a little bit where the clamp was and actually exposed it but i i cover everything with uh both that shrink wrap and i also use uh electric tape now this is a huge crimping tool see the link in the description for all the products but um they got some battery connectors with it and this this kind this is a huge crimp tool to put wires to battery connectors and we'll see that at the end of the video but I'm having a little trouble getting it to work. See right there, I just I just crimped it and it fell right out, right? So you have to be careful when you're crimping. So you put the wire, it has to fit in pretty good. Got to get some of the plastic in there and then just squeeze the crap out of it. And this time I think I got it. Kind of hard to show it on video. It's a huge crimping tool. It takes a lot of force to... I was trying to do it in front of the camera. Anyway, I got it good this time. And we're going to put solder in there also. You don't always have to solder, you know, but I, I like to do it. It makes me feel good. I like to make sure it, it does provide a little bit of a hold also. And here I'm doing I'm finishing up the job, and I'm soldering on the battery terminals, and that is going to go to the battery. The rest of this wire is going to go through the firewall, which I made a video on that. And I'm, I'm, reach, I'm changing up my configuration of my car. I'm putting a 2-meter and a GMRS radio in my car, and this is the 2-meter part and two meter 440, two meter 70 centimeter, and uh, I'm fixing up my car for storm chasing, and that's what this is, but this giant uh, thing is very, very hot, and if you're wondering if it's dangerous, it's unbelievably dangerous. It's a huge, hot surface area. I'm always terrified of this dang thing, and of course, yes, I did burn my hand today, and I was looking to my right, and I, I went down to grab it, <laughs> And I, I thought it was like my old soldering iron because I'm so used to it. And sure enough, I touched it. I burned my left finger. Not too bad. About an hour of pain putting in ice water and it's fine now. But this thing is super dangerous. Guys, super dangerous. Even if you're experienced, even if you're being careful, you know, you could bump this up against a wire very easily and it will melt it. And, you know, I'm always having to dodge it. And But it does a job and I'm glad I got it. Just got to be really careful with this thing. That whole thing is super hot. Also, I learned you have to be really patient. So just let the thing sit there and heat up. So these terminals are pretty big. It took a long time. It's kind of hard to position. The, the worst part about this is positioning the soldering iron with some pressure against the metal part and just being patient because it wants to push away and it needs a good good contact. But here I'm being a little impatient. I didn't give it enough time. And eventually that, that solder is just going to flow right into there. It's going to flow like a, it becomes like a pool in there. It really, really feels good to do that. It feels like you, you completed the job, you know. So here in a minute it's going to fill up. It's going to start. I've just got to keep pulling that solder out. I think, I'm, I think it's a lead-free solder. All right, there it goes. See, it just once it gets hot enough, it's just barely touching that terminal. Once it gets hot enough, it'll flow in there, and it created an entire pool, if you can see it there. I'll try to zoom in. And then I did the other one. You know, you have to be really careful when you pull it away, and, you, and the wires are still hot. Even those clamps are hot. 
anyway, in a second here, I let this one sit a lot longer. So, cause I had learned that I just need to be more patient and then watch this. It's about to flow. Just whoop. That's awesome. Isn't it? And that's good enough. And then finally they've got these, these shrink wrap tubes. I'm about to put those on. They're actually a little bit too big. Seems like those things are either too big or too small. And so uh, they're big enough to go on afterwards. So I just put them on like that. Then I put a lighter on it and there it is. All right. Thanks for joining me.